Film Festival, and we've had lots of exciting guests and events so far, and this should be just as good. Uh, we've got a man who's been in the industry for 17 years, working in music video and short films and features as well. Uh, he's based out of Liverpool now, but originally comes from LA, moved here in the year 2000. So please, a warm welcome to Mr. Chase Johnston Lynch. Hey guys, doing all right? Probably wondering, man, what are we here for? You know, we heard about this big black American guy making Wu Tang videos. How many people have ever seen a Wu Tang video? One, two. Yeah, but that is the that is the problem. You know, try making them. You know, we we made like a lot of Wu Tang videos, and a lot of them didn't get any airplay back in the day before YouTube. And like, uh, it was kind of like, oh well, you know, at least they pay well. You know, but um, everybody was listening to the music on the underground scene, so it's kind of like Wu Tang became this big mystery. I bet you, you couldn't even like name a member of the Wu Tang Clan. Anyone? Magic. Who? Who? Magic Man. Man. Yeah, well, that's obvious, isn't it? Red Man's not a member of the Wu Tang Clan. Sorry, you fell. You must leave. <laughs> yeah. Master Killer. Master Killer. Now there's a brother who's a fan. All right, but yeah, so Wu-Tang Clan is like nine members. You know, a funny story about the Wu-Tang Clan, you know, especially when they come over here to England, is because, you know, they ran around in their first videos wearing masks and everything, and people didn't know who they were, you know? So it's like, what happened was they go on stage, and it's like big name Wu-Tang, you see the big W, and it'd be like 10 other guys you never knew. You know what I mean? It's quite a shame, because you're a big fan of the music and everything, but I just thought I'd uh, let you know about that. Not all of them show up. Um, <clears throat> that's always the problem. Anyway, who am I? And what are we going to deal with today? Well, first of all, you know, we are going to look at some videos. We're going to look at some American videos, you know, so part of the quality. Hopefully they'll work. I heard there's been a lot of problem with the DVDs and stuff. And we'll also look at some English videos. And uh, we'll probably look at things as far as some behind the scenes stuff as well. But the main thing is, is that when I came here is to talk about making music videos because actually, I dance too. But actually, <laughs> you know, the supplement uh, I teach. And uh, so uh, pretty much we're putting together a music video production course, which please come up to me afterwards and find out about. But anyway, um, who am I? Chase Johnson Lynch. Yes, I'm American. I've been making videos for like about 17 years now. I know I got the grades. I hide it very well, you know. But um, mainly I want to also talk about the roles because like a lot of people, you know, they watch TV, they watch movies, and this helps if you make a short films as well, is that everybody wants to be the director. They think that the director is the one that has the power. They think that that's the one. How many people know what a producer does? One person. <laughs> what does he do, my friend? Uh, he actually funds the production. He funds it? No. <laughs> he doesn't, actually. <laughs> He finds the money, yeah? How many people know what a director does then? Sits there all day. Sits there on his ass all day. Can I curse? <laughs> I'll find it hard not to. You got that right. <laughs> you know, um, pretty much uh, what a producer does is that they're the ones who comes up with the ideas. Right? If we take it from the old Hollywood system, which everybody does anyway, Michael hates that, right? Is it that the producer comes up with an idea, you know, whether they look in a paper or they just have a clue or somebody sends them an idea, and it's their job to make that idea a reality, to make it happen, all right? To find the people, including the director, you know, to make that idea, right? So the reason why I explain this is because some people think that they're directors and they're not. How many people actually shot anything, made a film or a video? I need to know one person, two. Yeah? Are these videos or films? Videos, man. Videos, yeah. You made videos? Yeah, yeah, let, Music be. videos. All right, cool, cool. Well, I'm going to come to you later. <laughs> right? 
Director. What the director does is they execute that idea. All right. So what they're doing is they're visualizing or interpreting that idea. Now, if you've seen an advert, right? A lot of people stand around, a lot of commercial people create storyboards because they have to sell a product. And they hire a director to make those pictures move. All right? In film, it's about the person who's actually going to elicit emotion out of the actors. That's why they block, that's why they're looking what they're looking for when they say let's do it again, take one, take five, take twenty. In videos, it's about choosing the appropriate set and design. Anybody understand what I mean by that? What I mean by that is that music video, the music is the dialogue in itself, okay? So that means what happens is, is that you have to set the group or the artist in a particular setting. You have to light them in a particular way. You have to shoot the angle in a particular way. And that's what the difference is, all right? Reason why these are just basic things that you need to know because it's about the difference between producing and directing. Now, of course, I'm going to go into the monies and the roles and all of that, but first what I figured I'd do is I'll interrupt my own long, laborious speech with videos. So my man Simon up there, I already have a queued. Let's just hit them off with a showreel for what I've been doing here in England first. Well, come to Israel. But I mean, like, the whole point about it is, is that it's like, if you can kind of like learn from that experience, is that what I find that often or not, does anybody know what the first assistant director does? First assistant director, it sounds like a really lonely job, doesn't it? Assistant director, I don't want to be an assistant director or anything. But they don't realize that the assistant director actually is the person who runs the whole set. That's the person who prioritizes the ideas. That's the person who's all about time management. That's the person who's saving your ass, especially when you're a new director. So it's not about getting your girlfriend or your brother or your uncle to be your assistant director. It's about getting, that's where you hire the professionals. And that's what I've been doing, like, for most of the years, is working as an assistant director for new directors, you know, who kind of like, well, especially on films. I mean, I'm here talking about music videos, but my experience on films with new directors making their first film is kind of like, yeah, it all sounds, it's all great in the beginning, you know, it's all love. Uh, you know, hey man, I really appreciate you coming out, giving me your time, that's all good. Hey, listen man, you know, you got a good idea, you sound like you know what you want to do. You know, but I'm going to let you know, man, we're going to come to blows soon. Nah, man, never, nah, it's never going to happen. Oh yeah, okay. Day three. Day three, after, you know, telling this crew what to do, after moving the lines over here, after being pretty much in charge like you're supposed to do, that's when the director finally gets it to his head is, man, this is my film, <laughs> right? And it's like, of course it's your film. If it was my film, I'd be doing something completely different. Yeah? <laughs> I'd be shooting over there, I'd be doing this, or I'd be setting it up this way. But it's your film, so I'm doing it your way, but I'm also trying to get out of here in time. Yeah? Because we're all here helping you make something that you're going to keep in your closet. Now, that sounds kind of negative, but unfortunately, you know, in the experience of time, right, it's about learning from the mistake that you're going to make in that aspect that if you don't have the experience, somebody who has the experience can pretty much tell you this is the way not to go. This is the way not to do that. Movies?